drill, we, we do it a lot here. We're going to do the, the spin and stretch. It's a great drill to simulate throwing, or if a guy's on his knees, you can spin him over and, and go right into a nice jujigatami. But a key factor here, everybody, and something people really overlook, is what we call a shoulder sit position. So after Derek spins Eric over, and he's got him down, now how does he quickly get into a jujigatami? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to sit on his head. We're going to sit right on his shoulder and see how he's just sitting there, okay? And we call it the head sit or shoulder sit. This is a viable position. Even if the guy gets away from the arm lock, you can still go right into something else, okay? Spin and stretch, we do this a lot. It's a great drill, and it's one of those drills that is, is a great transition drill. It's a really basic standard drill, but it's so important that we, we need to do it a lot. So let's look at it. You're basically simulating a throw following through the immediately the Juju Gatami cross body arm lock. So look at Derek's position. He's got left hand elbow, right hand back behind. He's not grabbing inside the collar. He's grabbing either. We don't want to do that. Yeah, do, do the wrong thing. No. Yeah, that's we don't want to do that. We want to grab between the shoulder blades like he had initially. And he's got a good grip on the man, okay? Now what he's gonna do is just put his right heel on the knee. See that? And he's just gonna spin him. Spins him over, and there's the spin and he sits on him immediately. And he's gonna trap, he's gonna roll back into that Jujigatami. What he did was immediately sitting on that shoulder. Let's not stand there and look how pretty our work was, okay? What he does, when he spins him, now he's immediately, see how that right shin, this is for the newer guys, I want you to see this. That right shin was right against that rib cage there, okay? He's on it, he's squatting on his head. I might come on around here so you can see how he's, See how he's just squatting on his head. He's sitting, we would call a shoulder sit or head sit. And now he's trapping with his arms, Steve's arm. And he's going to roll back and finish the junior. Look, look, see how his knees are like this? Close. He didn't have to kick his leg over, guys. Okay? That takes time and it's, it's, it lessens your control of it in this particular situation. And okay? this will make you one that more transition time. from a throw or a takedown to this, this makes the transition really seamless. So he does the cross, he goes ahead and does our drill, he spins him over, but as soon as he does, now look at him, now watch, he drives that knee in there, but watch with his left leg, he's gonna literally step over and he's gonna sit down. And look how he's kinda like, his leg and hip there is like, you know, like, poor Eric's head is like a nut and a nutcracker, all right? Now at this, at this point, Derek on top is trapping. He's got the arms really trapped, and he just now can just roll back and stretch the arm. So it's essential not to stand there and look like, boy, that was a lot of fun. I did a great move. As soon as you take him down or throw him, you sit on his head. Boom, sit on that head, roll back, and finish. Okay, because again, we think of a throw as a total package. Can you do like a some throw, Tai Otoshi or something, and finish with it? So here we go. Bam. And that's how we finish. Think of it as a total package, and that head sit, that shoulder sit position, really connects the throw to the ground fighting. Bam. And see how you can finish. So that shoulder sit or head sit's essential. Want to work on that, guys? It's a great move. This is how we make a real transition from standing to ground. Okay, let's work on it. Good going. See, it's, it's like, you look, look at his left leg, it's almost like Eric's head's like a nut and, and Derek's legs are nut crackers. Otherwise, just, you got him stuck in there. Even if I hit the mat and not him, which right. caught a little bit of his arm there, yeah. you know, and I go back, we're loose. See, you know, there's space. Right. Boom, out he goes, right? So you want to prevent that. Over here, you get your base, that allows you to drag that back and then sit on it. And now when you come back, nice and Pack. These are together, your heels are back. There's that. Trapping nice. Okay. So it's just a head sit or shoulder sit transition. If I shouldn't pop to the knees, maybe first. You can still do it. Just remember they're not kind Okay, you're leading with this one. Uh huh. And so bring that other one first. Bring that ribs. Okay. 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 
and that closes the gap better. You're right, instead of leaving that one back. Yeah, you're not dragging anything back, yeah. There you go. Kick that leg over, there you go. Okay. And Ryan, just with thousands of repetitions, uh, you know, you'll get where it's just very, very smooth, you know, automatic response that you want to develop. Yeah, but that's it. But you want to transition after every throw. It's your, it's your insurance. It's your insurance because if the referee didn't give you a big score, okay, you might be having a bad day or whatever. Um, you want to follow up and make sure you finish it off. That's, that's, that's what the Japanese call kimei or to finish, to, to follow through after you throw them. And it's just, it's insurance. It's what it is.